Does the sound of your office phone or your smartphone ringing make you cringe? Or like most, your cell phone is set on vibrate to make it easy to ignore? After you listen to the voice message, do you take the easy way out and reply by sending a text or an email? And my shameful confession is, I've done all of these things too. But ignoring a call, is it good for sales or is it good for you? What would happen if you made the call instead of this? Hi, I'm Christine Harrington, the Savvy Sales Lady, your personal YouTube sales coach, helping you to become savvy at selling so you can earn more money, make a difference in your life and in the lives of those around you. And right after this, I have an important story to share with you. story. <clears throat> My voice. <laughs> I got a frog in it. <laughs> a client sent me an email recently, a five paragraph email about how he's struggling to get his clients and his prospects to respond to his emails. When I read this email, I started to email him back and I thought, no, I'm going to pick the phone up and call him. During our 10 minute discussion, I challenged him, instead of relying on emails and texts, pick the phone up and call your prospects and clients. And I asked him, when did you become phone adverse? You see, the most successful business people and sales professionals do most of their communication through the phone, not through e-conversations. Oh, well, I think I made that word up. I'm referring to emailing and texts. As I concluded the call with my client, I asked him, do you think we could have had this level of discussion through an email? Of course not. That's why the story I just shared with you is important. You cannot have a deep conversation through emailing and texting. Phone conversations will always work better in selling rather than email and texting. This is all well worth you thinking about. And frankly, it seems so odd to me to suggest to you that you should be using the dang phone. I know the phone is considered the old way of selling and so it's ignored. But I know what you're thinking. It's so hard to get people on the phone. All I get is voicemail, Christine. Yes, you will place more calls over the span of a week than actually talking to people live. Yes, that's true. But it was true 30 years ago too. Keep this in mind. The dozen or so clients or prospects that you actually do reach will not only save you time, but it will also give you a deeper, better conversation with that person. It will also elevate you in the eyes of the prospect and client. So the next time you take the easy way out for you by sending an email and a text, think, is this the best way to communicate at this time with my client or prospect? Probably not. Put the smartphone to your ear and make the call. Now, if you're willing to try these tips, will you give me a thumbs up on this video? And I want to invite you to subscribe and hit the notification bell. But remember this, sales is a journey. It's not a quick trip around the block. See you on the next video. So stand up. You can conquer any mountain if you don't stop.